What's up guys? Mike here. Today we're doing the review for the Phobia 2 RDA from Vandy Vape and Alex Vapors MD. What we're gonna do is we're gonna take it, flip it, take it apart, put a build in, vape it, done. Let's do it. So there's the outside of the box. Nothing too spectacular. Vandy Vape. Phobia 2 RDA, Alex Vapors MD, website, side the box, QR. You're going to have a, your usual scratch and verify. And then let's do it this way. I got the rainbow color, which I guess they call seven color. Batch number, serial number, all that good jazz. So there's the RDA, you get an Altum drip tip, clear thingy, and a coil step jig. They're telling you to use number eight, which from my experience with it so far, works really well. Inside the box. Nothing really fantastic, just a seven page user manual. And that's about it. Alright, let's set that shit to the side. Alright. Name Phobia 2. Three airflow holes. Doesn't look too bad on the inside. Damn it, I can't get a hold of that shit. There we go. Okay. Here's the actual deck. Airflow ring. It does have these little cutouts in it that do match up to right there. If you'll notice right there, there's a little cutout, a little notch. On the inside of the airflow ring, <clears throat> excuse me, you do have these little nipples there. I don't think I cut myself on that. Oh well. Okay, so <clears throat> The wire we're going to be using is the Clapton, just a regular Clapton coil, 26 inside, 32 outside. I am going to do a dual and single build on this for you guys. Alright, let's put her together. One thing I do want to mention, positive, negative. So you'll want to put your quills this way rather than this way. This is a squonka bowl, by the way. Um, it does come with the studded 510 already put in. Nothing too fancy. Again, you have to put your quills this way. They are a bit high, I'm not gonna lie, but it'll be all right. Oops. 
Lindsay's gonna need something a little smaller. So. Normally I just use my screwdriver, but I didn't want to work with me. All right, so there's your dual coil belt. Let's put on, I like using the Vupu drag. Now when I first got this thing, it was really hard to screw it in. I don't know if that was just, just me or not. I'm not 100% sure. Gorgeous. I put that away from the camera for a second. I think I have juice down in here, that's why it's smoking like that. Alright, time to wick it up and and show you some vapor production. Now guys, this sucks. I'm sorry, this is my first video. Just leave me tips, comments on what I can do to improve it. And I will do my best to make it happen. I am using cotton bacon by Wick and Vape here. Normally I just use organic Japanese cotton, but I'm a little out of that right now. I gotta order some more.
All right. We're all waked up, ready to roll. I am using Okami brand Bubble Gang Grape Ape. Now again, you're just gonna line the little nipples with the dents. And you'll feel it when it locks in because it doesn't turn. All right. Go ahead and juice this up here. I'm using this as a regular dripper for the simple fact of I don't own an R a squonk yet. Um, I do have one coming in the mail. I will do a quick review on that when it gets here. That should be coming up the 31st. If not, I'll do it the first week of February. All right. Go ahead and bump that to 40, see how we got here. Okay, let's flip it, put it back up. All right, back up here. Phobia, RDA, Phobia 2, RDA, sorry. We are working at 40 watts with a 0.31 ohm coil. Let's see what she does. Not bad, not enough power though. Let's bump it up, 45. Overall, not a bad RDA. Um, again, when I first got it, really hard to screw it down into the mod. Might've just been mine, don't know. I've seen other reviews where people have seem to have had a problem with it. Um, got mine for I believe thirty some dollars. Not a bad price point. Easy to build on, really easy. Um, my only real complaint is the tops that they come with. That drip tip. It's got the little gear thing on it. Don't really like it. Too short. The other two that it come with. The Ultim and the Clear. Again, too short. I use just another 810 drip tip off the Kylan M RTA. One of the worst RTAs I've ever received. Ever bought. Let me rephrase that. Never bought. Um, again, my first video, guys. Let me know what you think in the comments. If you want to give me tips, advice, much appreciated. And welcome to the asylum. Peace out.